How am I gonna carry this in myself? I'm gonna need some help. Okay, this server, oh my god guys. All right, Red Panda Mining here, or Red Panda AI here. All right, so I'm unboxing this new server I just got in. It is from One Chassis, and One Chassis has sent me this server to uh, showcase for you guys, but also, you, you all know, I've been getting into AI recently, uh, AI, quote unquote AI, which is renting out my GPUs, essentially, in order to uh, make money. So I have a big boy server case here, which this is a 7U server case, okay? 7U, this would be the biggest server case I have ever received in my entire life, or have ever touched in my entire life. So this thing, is I think with the box and everything about 60 70 pounds so it's it's pretty heavy there's handles on each side so yeah you all saw earlier I wasn't able to <laughs> carry this thing by myself so yeah let me figure out how I'm gonna get this out in the open here so I can showcase the server case to you guys give me a sec Alright, there it is, guys. I actually lifted it by myself from the middle. I lifted the whole server case up, almost broke my back, which I shouldn't have because they caution, two person lift required. <laughs> so I didn't do that. But anyways, guys, let me go around and showcase the server case to you guys here, the one chassis server case, specifically the model number OCG7900B-8H8-L7U. Okay, this is a GPU server chassis from One Chassis. And this is compatible to fit RTX 5090s, which is my plan to do with this eight GPU server case. Okay, and it already actually comes with the risers already, the PCIe uh, the Gen 5 risers, MCIO adapters, that which go into the motherboard. Okay, it doesn't come with the motherboard, doesn't come with the GPUs, but it, what does come with this is the PCIe Gen 5 risers, the hot swappable fans, and also the 2000 watt power supplies, okay, which are on the back here. All right, 2000 watts. So let me take one out here. I can show you guys exact model number for anyone that's curious. Okay, so this is, says there 2000 watt max, 200 to 240 volt. So I could definitely run these on my uh, 240 volt 30 amp circuit breakers. I gotta push a little bit harder on that one. There you go. All right, so that's in. So there's four. Looks like there's a spot for a fifth one I could put in, but uh, I think four should be enough. 8,000 watts and redundant as well. So any of them fail, should have 6,000 watts. But maybe it would be a good idea to add another one, just in case. I don't know if that's possible. I will check that out later. But yeah, guys, this server case is quite massive. You can see the handles on the side here. I haven't had to use it yet because I haven't had any help to lift it up. And that's one thing I'm, I gotta make sure I get some help or put this somewhere where I'm gonna, you know, have this running and I just realized it didn't come with the rails. Okay, so it looks like I'm not gonna be able to uh, mount this to my server rack, but that's okay. I'm actually planning on not putting this in a place where, you know, my server rack area, as some of you may know, I don't really have the best environment uh, for extracting all the heat that this thing is probably gonna output. So you all know my GP rack, I have a 24 inch exhaust fan there. I may, I don't know, put it here or I may put it on my server rack area here, which uh, yeah, that might be better. But then I'll need to run uh, 10 gig networking here. Actually, I'll need to run 10 gig networking over here as well because I wanna make sure I have that bandwidth and capacity for this server, okay? So we'll look inside here in just a second. I'll unscrew the top, but I wanna explain here the motherboard compatibility, all right? So I am going to put, there's actually four different motherboards you could put in this, which they have listed on their website as a compatible motherboard uh, for this chassis, okay? It's gonna be the Rome 
uh, 2D32GM-2T or the Genoa uh, 2D24G-2L plus or the Turin 2D24G2L plus. Okay, you guys can see on the screen here. And then there's another one, SPC uh, 274103G-2L motherboard. Okay, there's, so there's four different motherboards I could put into this server case. And the one I'm looking at is gonna be either the Genoa one or the Turin one. So as of recording, I haven't placed an order yet for the motherboard or I need actually seven more 5090s. I already have a 5090 already. So my investment into the server is gonna be quite hefty. And so that's something I, I, I just got a plan, okay? I'm probably gonna make another video talking about the parts that I, I need to get for this server. Uh, I guess the motherboard, processor, RAM, hard drive, and of course the GPU. So we'll talk about that more in depth in another video. So anyways, yeah, that's the motherboard compatibility and that's gonna go uh, on the bottom here. But anyways, now let's see what the inside looks like. Looks like there's uh, one, uh, two, looks like there's four screws I gotta take out on each side. Okay, yeah, so let me do that real quick. All right, I got the screws out. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to take out this part first. All right, so it looks like I just flick this lever here, take out this, and oh, there's actually plastic wrap all around it. So yeah, I'm gonna have to take that out later. Okay, put this down. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. Okay, this is the first, I guess, bay for four. Okay, RTX 5090s. I mean, I could put 4090s in here as well, but you guys can see just the amount of space that is in here to fit RTX 5090s. I mean, you all know how big 5090s are. They're, they're massive GPUs, but look at this. These are the risers, the Gen 5 risers, okay, that come with uh, the one chassis here. One chassis provides, okay, the whole, right, the whole server case, the Gen 5 risers, or Gen 4, Okay, so with one chassis, when you contact them, you can actually make your own custom server case, essentially, for, for your own needs, all right? So you tell them, you know, what type of hardware you're gonna use or that you wanna use, and they can configure the server case to your own needs. So I have one here that's meant for RTX 5090s. Okay, so yeah, looking around the server case here, looks like there's two of these NVMe backplanes. I forgot to mention this. They also come with this as well, so I can put my own NVMe uh, PCIe card here for the storage. Okay, so it looks like storage would go uh, up in here and there's also another one uh, right here, which actually I could, I'm thinking, could I do a 10 gig network card? Yeah, I think I could or 100 gig. I don't have 100 gig infrastructure, so 10 gig is really all I can do. I can put a low profile uh, 10 gig NIC right here and then PCIe NVMe uh, card here. That would be cool. Then just looking in here, okay, looks like we got the power backplane right there, right? All the four power supplies are right there. And the backplane for power looks like it goes right here. That's really cool. And then looks like there's already PCIe, or sorry, actually for my 5090s, they already supply the new revision power cable, all right, for the NVIDIA cards, the 12 or actually 16 pin HPWR cable. So that's nice, that's really good. So there are four here, okay, obviously for the four, 5090s that would be in this location. Then in the middle, we have this monster fan module here. Looks like it's also hot swappable. I can also lift it up. Looks like we have to lift up this part though. All right, do I lift from here? Nope, I think I slide it. Oh yeah, slide. Yeah, I can slide it that way and then I can lift up that part. Okay, so here is the next bay of 5090s. Look at that. Okay, so if we can put four 5090s here, as well, looks like we got some little covers here. And uh, that's really cool. So the MCIO adapters, which go down into uh, the motherboard. Looks like we got a, looks like we had MC MCIO cable that popped up here. I think it's supposed to go down here, uh, which goes down towards the motherboard. Okay, so wow, this is gonna be, this is gonna be quite the adventure I'm gonna have with this server case, guys. Uh, it's, it's, this is gonna be, probably like a month in terms of getting us all the parts. I need the GPUs, motherboard, and then just building this, right? Look at that, they have the GPU 5, GPU 6, GPU 7, GPU 8 labeled here. That's really cool. And okay, so I just wanted to look at something here. So just looking at the server case 
like this, overview like this. So it looks like the 5090s or the GPUs on this side would be a little bit higher than on this side. So I guess, yeah, thinking about it, yeah, I, I think that makes sense. So that means the airflow from these GPUs would go from the top and the heat would just pass, I guess, above the 5090s that are gonna be down here. Ah, that's intuitive on one chassis part. They thought of everything in terms of the, you know, the heat that's gonna be coming out of those GPUs. So it goes right through the top over here. And then the lower part, yeah, you can see how it lowers down here. The 5090 heat would be going on from down, from back here, out this way. So it looks like the fans, right? These modular fans, all right, which looks like I could just lift this up and yeah, it just pops out. There's two of them that pop out. That's actually really cool. Okay, so hot swappable. Yeah, you guys can see the bottom there. Okay, so it looks like this might be, I wonder if the, this definitely looks proprietary to one chassis. So it looks like uh, in case, uh, you know, these fail, all right, it looks like there's four of them in total. I maybe need to order one or two just as a spare. And actually, I just saw, looks like there are four more fans at the bottom there. That's gonna be right above the motherboard. So there's eight fans up here in total and then another four at the bottom there. Wow, okay. And I'm just looking now, how do I install the motherboard? Okay, it looks like, I wonder if this pops out. All right, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to, I guess, slide the motherboard in at the bottom here or if that means I, looks like uh, maybe I have to take out this, this area here. Looks like there's a shield, uh, thumbnail screws that come off here. I can take this out. Yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to have some fun taking this apart to install the motherboard. Uh, when that time comes, when I get the motherboard, I will do that video, guys, all right? So, like I said, this is, this is gonna be a massive project, okay? And I'm gonna be probably making a lot of videos with the server case and getting, you know, eight 5090s. All right, eight freaking 5090s to work in this server case. And yeah, there's actually another four more of these cables on this side over here to power the eight 5090s. That's absolutely insane. I hope, I really hope that these cables are, you know, sufficient enough. I hope the, uh, these ends, you guys can see these are like right angled ones, like 90 degree power connectors. So I hope there's no uh, burnage, you know, gonna happen on these ends. I guess I'll find out whoever rents my rig, right? Depending on what type of workload, uh, hopefully these uh, connectors are uh, tested. So yeah, guys, that's it. I went through the whole server case here and uh, just looking at this, yeah, this is gonna be quite the project. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this whole 7U sized server case for AI, right? I'm gonna be using this for some type of GPU rental uh, mainly for my uh, 5090s. I, again, I have to buy seven more 5090s and also the motherboard, processor, RAM, hard drive. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to spend a pretty penny, but thank you so much to One Chassis for providing me the chassis, essentially, the server case with the Gen 5 PCIe uh, risers, which is really cool. MCIO goes into the motherboard and also the power supplies as well, the fans, and then I'll have to build everything myself. Uh, which is really cool. So I think the price of this, this whole configuration right now is about $3,000 US. So if you guys are interested in one of these, go check out One Chassis down below, give them an email, contact them. Again, you can configure the server case to your needs. Uh, they have many different parts you can configure, even different sizes as well. Not that, you know, you don't have to get a 7U, there's like 4U, 5U, 6Us. They have different models as well, okay? So uh, maybe more cost effective in a sense as well. But I went for the big boy one because of 5090s and <laughs> you guys let me know down below what you guys think about that but this is quite the monster all right i'll see you on the next video please give me your thoughts down below i'll see you on the next one have a good one peace out peace out oh man, this thing is gonna be insane